Welcome to today's video. We are testing this barrel age in a bottle mini spiral in mead. Let's get started. All right, so today's video, it's, it's pretty simple. I took this little barrel age in a bottle spiral, which on it, talks about how you can do exactly that. You put it into like a 750 milliliter wine bottle, you can fit them into basically any bottle that is 750 or larger um, and let it set for a while. And it barrel ages or adds oak flavor to it. So it's not really barrel aging, it's just oaking. Barrel aging makes it sound more fancy. Anyways, uh, on those instructions, it talks about how you put it in that 750 milliliter bottle and you let it set for two weeks or however long you want and it adds oak flavor. So that's what I've done here. I have the same mead, which is an apple and cinnamon mead that I make quite a bit that I really like. One bottle here, this came from the exact same batch by the way, I'll show a little video. I racked off of a five gallon container into two different bottles. So this is one of my bottles here. This is This does not have the spiral in it. And the other one, when I was racking it, I basically just took and put the spiral right into it. These have been setting for 14 days. Um, on the back of that little box, it says extraction in 14 days. And so that's why I chose this number of two weeks. I'm sure I could have let this set for way longer, but I'm gonna go with what the package says, which is two weeks for extraction. So let's go and open these up and let's get a taste test and see what this barrel thing has done. All right, so the first thing I notice is there's already, I'll go and pour it, but there's a definite, just through the bottle alone, color difference. Of course, oaking will not only add some flavor, tannin change, those things, but it affects the color. So that is, this is the oaked version right here. Still pretty clear, I will add, but a little bit of a different color than this one, which is the non. Oaked. So it's a little bit hard to tell on camera. The oaked one has just a small amount darker shade to it, but they are pretty close. I don't know that two weeks was enough to change the coloring. So my right hand right now is the non uh, little mini oak stave. This one is the oaked version, as I will call it. Let's go and get some nose or aroma checks on it. Let's start with the non. I mean, I get apple and cinnamon. I get bright apple, bright cinnamon aroma, sweetness on the nose. Oh, this thing, I, I love this recipe, huge fan. Yeah, I mean, it smells like apple and cinnamon. It's got some sweetness. I mean, it doesn't have obviously any oaking value. Let's see what two weeks with an oak stave has done. Oh, that's definitely there. Oh yeah, that's like a very dark, you get the oakiness for sure. It doesn't, like sometimes oak has like vanilla notes or has other things about it. This one only has like a, a dark toastiness to it that's not, not soft vanilla or maple-y or anything like that or pecan, pecan. So let's taste them now. Again, I'm gonna start with the non-oaked. Apple, cinnamon. Honey, it's just, this thing, by the way, is really good when it is carbonated. This is still, of course, I, I can't say, I love this recipe. Okay. It, I mean, it, it tastes like, ap tastes, this is right here. I've made it so much now that I like know what to taste for. But this tastes like, you know those not your grandmother, what, not your father's root beer. <laughs> um, this is like, not your your mom's, I don't know, apple juice or something like that. That is, because it's dangerous, does not have a lot of alcohol presence in it. It's pretty good. Let's flip to the other side. This is the oaked now. Oh, interesting. Ooh, yeah, that's extracted. The, the oak is super, I mean, it's strong. I kind of like that though. Now I do get a little more vanilla note. There's that dark toastiness there. Um, this has more tannic value to it, which means that it, 
Like this one washes down pretty quick. It generally just kind of, not like water. Water is like there and gone in the same instance. This is very much so like, sits around for a second and then kind of goes away. This clings and kind of goes around to different points in your mouth and your tongue responds and all those things. Wow. I want to say that the stave itself was way more effective than I thought it would be at two weeks, especially. Um, I do think it's the perfect point for this recipe because this still has retained um, apple and cinnamon and honey characters, but you're also in tandem getting this like tannic value from oak and the woodiness and the flavor that that oak is presenting as well. I think so. These are two different be meads now for me. This recipe, this right here is like quick sipper. You could have this before dinner, during dinner, all those things. It'd be totally fine. Have some on a porch during the summer. When it's carbonated, it's just freaking awesome. This one, it feels like it's an all around thing. This one has, because of the oaking now, has more of a, a, a fanciness to it, so to speak. That oak has really presented um, some different flavors that I was not expecting uh, that propel it to be more of like a dinner mead, something you'd have like at the end of dinner or maybe during dinner, something like that. I think that's pretty fantastic. It is way more tannic though. Two different meads now. That's what's really funny here. These started out as the exact same mead and what Oak has done is it has created literally two different meads in one. I, so this whole video has been gauging the effectiveness, let's say, of those little uh, spirals. In this instance, with this apple and cinnamon mead, it has made a huge difference. And honestly, um, I'm gonna say for the better, even though this one was already great, it has brought out a new element to this recipe that I could use it for a different purpose. And I think it could be useful in any other bottle you might have. So those little oak, I mean, it's not just for mead, it's also for wine, it's for spirits, it's for beer. Uh, it's literally just to add barrel or oak flavor to a brew. So I think it's great. I, I think personally, I will not be using it a lot because the uh, this does not feel like an effective choice. It was $4.99 at the brew shop that I go to for that little stave, which for that same price, I can get oak cubes, chips, and I can go bigger. If I'm gonna make a large, or excuse me, if I'm gonna make a mead that is uh, oaked in some way, I'm gonna do it big. I'm gonna do three gallons at a time or so, or maybe one gallon. This is good if you are on a small scale, you've made a brew, let's say you only have one wine bottle of it and you want to oak it. Heck, go ahead and throw that in. I don't know that they have very many different, and I'll double check myself here, very many different um, kinds of oak available. I don't know if they have French oak versus Hungarian versus you know American or anything like that, but the one I used worked well. So smaller scale, Let's say you're making a mead, you need something to put those little, or you need some oak character without having to buy a ton of oak chips. Try that, that worked really well. I will say the two week time for this one right here was very important. You could easily over oak this. And when you over oak something, it's very hard to come back from. You don't easily get rid of an overly oaked brew. So I've enjoyed this, it works. That feels like a weird result or resolve for this video, but it does work. If you'd like to buy them, I will put a link down below. Um, you can get them on Amazon, go to your local brew shop. I mean, anywhere you could find them, I would give it a shot. I have no experience doing it with spirits or wines or beers, so I can only assume that it works well for that. This has been a Pretty simple, but fun video. I'm glad I got to test that thing. I hope you've enjoyed it. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. I make a lot of content that's not, that's more than just throwing things into bottles sometimes. Um, so I've enjoyed getting to do this and I hope I will see you in a future video. So, cheers.